All right, guys, getting pretty close to uh, being able to swap the cabin off of this trailer onto this trailer. Um, but there's a couple th more things I want to do. Um, first, if you take a look at this wheel well, um, I've got pretty good clearance there right now, but uh, the, the trailer's empty. I'm afraid that once I put that thousand pound cabin onto this trailer that uh, I'm gonna lose some of my clearance there. So what I've done is I've gone online and I've purchased one of these Dexter conversion kits. So this this is an over under conversion kit and it allows you to take the axle and move it from above the leaf springs to below the leaf springs. So uh, that's what my project is today. Uh, let's see how far I get and let's get to it. All right, so I've opened up the box here, pulled all the parts out. Looks like uh, everything's there. Um, so what we have, we've got a couple of new perches here. Um, we've got these spacers which uh, screw onto here and allow this to uh, not wobble on the axle. We've got replacement U-bolts and plates and whatnot. So if we talk a little bit about this, um, you've probably seen some videos or heard about people flipping their axle. And um, they're not actually, well in some cases they are, but you're not supposed to take your axle and flip it, you know, like this. You're actually supposed to flip it from underneath or from over or underneath the axle to over or underneath the axle. So that's what this is about. This is the over under conversion kit. And I just got this off of Amazon. Um, it costs about the same if you buy it from Dexter, but you get free two day shipping with Amazon. So that's what I went with. So um, uh, we'll take a look. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see or not. But every axle has what's called camber. You can see how it kind of bows up in the center there. That is for weight distribution and to keep your tires aligned when there's a load on the trailer. And you don't want to disturb that camber. You want to keep it crowned on top. And that's why you don't simply, you know, flip the axle over so that your perch is on top. You wanna to keep that original perch on the bottom, in my case, and then uh, just add the new perch to the top. So that's what we're gonna work on today. So this is the perch, and um, it has the uh, spacers on it. And one of the things that you wanna do is make sure that each of the spacers um, has the same distance from the top of the perch as the other side. Um, I kind of did this with a little trial and error. Um, I got them, kind of eyeballed them best I could. And I was a little bit over three and a quarter inches and then a little bit under three and a quarter inches on the other side. So uh, I made some adjustment. It turns out this one was exactly three and a quarter on both sides and made it perfect. So um, that's the way I adjusted it. And then uh, I'll set it on there and it should be good to go. I've got the uh, new perch sitting on top of the old perch. Um, it's perfectly parallel and I've uh, moved it side to side to make sure there's no movement and there's not. So uh, this thing is just right. It's ready for the top plate and uh, to U-bolt the, the leaf springs onto the axle. Okay, I've got the uh, leaf spring sitting on top of the perch then I've got the top plate on top of that and then I've got my U-bolts wrapped around the axle up through that top plate and then uh, tighten down. But one thing you want to remember as you're tightening these U-bolts is you want to distribute the pressure on that top plate evenly. So the way I did this is I um, would put a couple of turns on uh, one bolt, move on to the next, couple of turns, move to the next, couple of turns, and uh, just kept doing that until I got it uh, tightened down. Um, and that provided, you know, nice even pressure across that top plate. And then when you're connecting your eye bolts, 
um, you want to connect the stationary bolt first and for me that was on the right side um, the reason you want to do that is because uh, the other eye bolt um, has some movement it swings uh, forward and back so it's easy a lot easier to place that one um, in order to get your uh, eye bolt in so that's what I did here tighten everything down and now I'm ready to put the wheel back on I was able to finish up uh, moving the axle from above the leaf springs to below the leaf springs so uh, got pretty good clearance now um, before I flipped the axle uh, my frame was 16 inches off the ground, now it's 20, so I picked up 4 inches, um, which is perfect. Um, I feel a lot better now about uh, moving the cabin of the camper onto this trailer. Um, it was pretty close there before. I think I've got plenty of clearance now, so I have no issues. So uh, that's it for this week. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.